fasting is really topical at the moment. It's very trendy and we should talk about it. Is fasting healthy? A lot of people fast for their religion. And we know if we just look at the scientific evidence, people who follow a regular fast through their religious practices, through the major faiths, they live for a lot longer. And that's regardless of whether they smoke or drink excessively. At a scientific level, what we know is that when you fast, you upregulate all of the genes that promote cell life. So when we eat constantly, we're wearing out our cell machinery and we don't give it a chance to rest, recuperate and regenerate. But when we fast, we actually allow those cells to have their rest and it actually promotes within the cell regeneration. If we look at fasting on a day-to-day -day basis, one of the things that's really fashionable at the moment and, and actually has got some good evidence behind it is intermittent fasting. And this goes back to eating as we used to prior to the Industrial Revolution. Intermittent fasting is where you, you have your first meal at 11 to midday. And then you have your second meal at between five and eight. So it's actually only having two meals per day, which is what a lot of traditional European societies still do today. For example, Southern Spain, Southern Italy, Southern France, Greece, Turkey, a lot of those Mediterranean countries. The notion of breakfast as, as we have it today only really started with the Industrial Revolution. And it's when people went out to work for at least 12 hours per day and didn't have access to refrigerated food because refrigeration didn't exist then and were also distant from where their, their villages were because at that point, people would go home for lunch every day. So suddenly we had to have something to prepare us for the 12 hours that followed. And the notion that cereals are what people have for breakfast is really only a post-World War II phenomenon. 